greetings from Terry here, D-Lab Electronics. You guys all know me pretty much for fixing tube type guitar amps, but I've decided for 2025, I'm going to start exploring more home audio amps. You're going to see a lot of monoblocks, a lot of integrated tube amps coming over the bench of D-Lab Electronics. I'm hoping that may attract some new viewers. So first, I'm going to be working on these Opera Audio 211 amplifiers. These are single-ended, class A, around 16 watts output. Plate voltage is 900 volts. A local fellow just brought me these amps for repair. One of them has low output. I inspected them and they both have leaking filter caps. So let's take a look at these Cyber 211 amplifiers. And yes, they are made in China. Main output tube is the 211 as an ECC88 preamp and a 5687 driver. I believe the power and output transformer are in this housing. There's a the back panel. You got speaker outs for 4 and 8 ohm. This is your audio in. And the power switch. Of course there's no pots on this guy because these are just amplifiers. Here's the bottom side of the amp. You see the transformers tucked in there. This is our power supply rectifier cap board. Have caps in series to handle that 900 volts. This is the bottom of the big 211 ceramic socket. Construction looks pretty good. It looks like it's going to be fairly easy to work on. All right, I'm going to check the high voltage on this amplifier using this Heath kit VTVM, which is good to 1500 volts. And I am seeing approximately 900 volts DC. So the high voltage is okay. All right, now I've clipped onto the bias test point according to the schematic. Should be approximately 4.8 volts. It looks a little high, but at least we have bias voltage. So inspecting the board, I see these power resistors and the connection points are extremely dark. So I decided to take an inspection mirror and look around the back side of those connections. I know you can't see them, but these are gray pitted and cracked. The other thing I spotted was some oozing of some substance on this middle filter cap. Then I took a look at the other amp and it's even worse. So here's the other amplifier. You can see this wax and it appears to be bubbling out of this cap. So at this point, I'm going to stop testing and replace all the filter caps in this amplifier. So I removed the hardware so I could swing the board back, take a look at those connections. There's the cold joints on that resistor assembly. If I look really close, I can actually see little rings where the leads are poking through, so I'm sure that's intermittent. I popped out one of the main filter caps to take a look at it. It's a 220 microfarad at 450 volts made by Rubicon. There's three of these in series on each side of the choke for that 900 volt high voltage. Alright, I've completed my shopping list for the caps required to completely recap both of these amplifiers. I'm going to buy my parts from Mauser Electronics. They carry Nishikon, and the TDK series and those are my top choices. After I get the parts in and ready to install, we'll have part two and go from there. 